Welcome back to Or Spawn, everybody. I believe this is episode 9. I believe. And I hope it is. And I updated one mod, the Puns mod, which I didn't know it did like reverse updating, as in it updates. It, it, the mod itself updated to 1.7.2, and then after that, 1.7.10. But it also updates the 1.6.4 version. Which, thank you very much. I give you credits to any mod developers. I give credits to all mod developers that do that. Well, the mod is good. Because your mod can have, like, fucking something stupid like flint lasts longer. Which, flint is very easy to make, so there's no point to you. Alright, so, we're gonna ignore everything I just said there. But congrats to the, uh, to the, 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 the puns mod developer. You are cool. And now, since I updated, there's also a bunch. There's also, like, two bosses, maybe two bosses, something like that in the puns mod <clears throat> so we have a lot more to do with that but also the armor I've been waiting for holy shit flame thuler never underestimate the flame ability of sheep what I want that tenta cannon oh dude who said squids were useless ink cannon hmm. sandorcery punisher increases in damage with combo attacks holy fuck yo that is very interesting if it increases. Wait, can I eat this? Orple, Orple. What the fuck is an Orple? Alright, so yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff here. French fries, wait, can I eat this? Flame Dueler. There's the Rainbow. It's the Bane of the Nether. That's pretty cool. Uh, hammer, no one likes hot ham in their face. Yeah, definitely. Chance to imprison enemies with ice. <laughs> How nice. Bone, yeah, we know that one. Alright, so here is the obsidian armor, and I want to make this since we gathered up a bunch of obsidian from last episode from fighting all those bosses. Obsidian doesn't really have that big of use, but look at this withered meat. It's pretty cool because you can make strength out of that. That will be nice, but let us check our clipboard here. Boop! Make obsidian armor, fight large worm, make better weapons, fight caterpillar. <clears throat> so, uh, do we have the large worm by any chance? I don't think we do. Kessori. Oh, we do. Look at that. Alright. So we have the large worm. Now, I need to do a little bit of testing here when it comes to this armor. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna make this armor. Boop. We're gonna do a little testing here. Some damage testing. See how good this armor actually is. The Punisher weapon looks pretty cool, though. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Now... Do we have anything to, like, get enchantments with? As in diamonds? We do have diamonds. Oh, damn, we have a good amount of diamonds. Uh, this... I've been playing Mineshaft a lot, which is vanilla Minecraft. You get. Oh, we, did, we have enchantment deals, right? And I am not used to having all these resources. I do have, like, 55 diamonds, though. Because I'm dope like that. Do we have bookshelves? What monster... What mob drops bookshelves is the real question. Let's add that to the... Oh, fuck it, I'm too lazy to go back over there. Alright, well, we gotta find some sugar cane, so let us morph into bat here. We have succubus, too. Uh, I, I have a lot of series that I'm recording and uploading at the moment. One of them is actually on hold right now until I get fairly deep into ore spawn or at least finish one of the other mini-series I have going on, which uh, I've recorded two smite videos. I just have a lot of shit to upload, and I shouldn't do that. I should never overwhelm myself. Well, I do a lot. Is that a caterpillar? No, it's just it's one of them hoes. Didn't I have a hoe? Where'd she go? I don't, I don't really care. So yeah, let's look for sugar cane here. We need some sugar cane. I might just do a jump cut right here. Uh, just because sugar cane's a little bit hard to find. It might be nighttime too. I don't like nighttime. It's uh, not so friendly at night. Some, there's some scary stuff. No, there's not really too many. Too many abominations walking the earth at night. So we're gonna shear some sheep. And then we're gonna do this. Get us a workbench going. And uh, if I can't find bookshelves, then I'll, I'll just use whatever enchantment I can. Hello, spider. Go die. Well, thanks. I'm, sh sh when you shear sheep, the, the chance of uh, how much wool it drops should be more than one. Because what's the point of shearing a sheep and only getting one wool when you can just kill that sheep? I understand that they'll eat it back, but sometimes, sometimes these motherfucking sheep take like 10 hours to eat, eat and gain their wool back. Can you, oh, it's a brown one. Might as well take it from the brown one. Brown one's generous. He gave us two. Fuck. All right, fuck off. Yo, dude. Yo, what the fuck? Did anyone see that creeper just 
Yo, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Why? No. No, that... No. Jeez Louise. Okay, I'm pretty blind. I'll, I'll give you guys that. Pretty blind. I didn't see that we had bookshelves in there. But the better question is, where do we put an enchantment table? On such a tiny house? Well, obviously, right there. Right there. Boom. And bookshelf, bookshelf, bookshelf. Now, <laughs> these enchantments not might not be uh, extremely high, but you know, it's, it's all in the heart. These enchantments are all in the heart. Let's see. Seven highs. Ten. Holy shit. Ten. That's pretty high. And uh, I guess we'll go. Oh, there's an eleven. Anything higher? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna hunch that eleven is the highest we can go. So we'll hit it with eleven. That's not bad, and breaking is actually exactly what I wanted. Now we gotta hit this one with 11. Come on. I'll take 10. 10 works, I'm breaking, there you go. I'll hit uh, this one with 11. Come on, 11. Lucky number 11. Le well, I don't really know if that's a lucky number. Maybe it is you. But uh, yeah, I don't really know what the fuck that thing was we just saw earlier. That fucking abomination. That, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's all I gotta say. Alright, so. We must now test this out here. So that means we're gonna need some uh, water. And we're gonna need a weaker mob. I don't know why I picked up two of the large worms, but whatever. I'll accept it. Give me this. I need to clear out some space in there. Just clearing out. Now, the enchantments on this are superb. I don't know if they're superb enough to fight the large worm. They probably are. But, let's see. Let's throw that in there. We need to test out this obsidian armor. Ender dragon spawn egg. We can probably get some backup from iron golems if we really wanted to. Uh, what's a good boss to test this out on? Not boss, but monster. It wouldn't be too hard to... Oh, shoot. Lurking terror. Let's do lurking terror. There's a guy... Pretty, it's pretty kind. Okay. Now let us fly over here to the water. Take off this armor here. Throw this shit on. Look at that. Oh, I'm not in full screen. Hold on. I'm looking at this guy. Okay. Uh, I, I wasn't in full screen. Why am I not in full screen? Does the moth armor even fill up the bar? It doesn't. Alright, well, that, first things first. I'm the realist. And uh, that doesn't fill up the armor. That was a reference. Let's fill up the bucket, test out how much reduction this damage actually gives here. And, uh, you know, we just stay at bad. Definitely just stay at bad. Okay, let's do this here. Here we go. Alright, here goes. Here goes. Look and tear it. Look and tear it. Alright, didn't take any damage. Now let's switch to this armor. Don't kill that cow. Hey, come here. Oh, yep, took took a hard damage here. Don't kill that cow! what I just say? You motherfucking bitch! Now I'm gonna wreck you! I'm gonna wreck you! Wrecked! Wreck me! Can you drop me? Hey, look, there's cow now. Okay. Let's let's fly on back. I'm just killing some cows and getting some extra meat. I'm all about having the extra meat. Once seen on Crackhead comments. If you guys haven't seen that series, I recommend it. Let's try to gather a bunch of comments and a bunch of Crackheads on my videos. I compile them all together and I have something to say about each and every one. So we're gonna take off this moth armor. It's really bad. I don't like it. We're gonna see how much of a G I look like wearing this armor. Alright, it's time to throw this shit on. Boom. That armor wasn't too bad, but uh. I think this armor's sexy. Can I get the iron boots from this? Put the diamond boots on it. These iron boots aren't really... Holy shit! I am fucking pure obsidian! <laughs> hey, that's a good that's a good sign right there. Alright, I know I cooked some meat. I had to. It was like... Yeah, fucking good. Good! That's very good. And let's just throw this on here. So, we will be fighting the worm in this episode. That is right. The worm. Uh, the burp, the large worm. I don't exactly know what he drops. Hopefully something useful. I'll be throwing all this shit in there. And uh, why am I 
still carrying blue wood? I don't know. I'm gonna switch it out for this wood. This rainbow eucalyptus wood is OP, that's why. Now, what do I need to fight this guy? That, like, really matters. We, have, we don't have an apple. We have this. We can make a shitty beacon if we really wanted to. Or we can do some butter candy here. I'm all about the butter candy. The withered meat will save for another fight. But uh, the large worm ain't that hard. He just steals your armor every now and then. Which isn't too bad. I'll try and fight him while flying. Just so he doesn't steal my armor. It completely wrecks me. Because that would not be the best thing to happen. But we need to find a somewhat open area. We gotta make sure it stays daytime too. So I'm gonna be finding this guy mid... When it's about to be nighttime. I was gonna say mid night. But... That mod actually has some bosses. As you can see here, it has an interesting boss in it that I don't think I can fight. What the fuck is that? It has this sky boss, which is a YouTuber. Oh shit, there's a fucking bee! Nope, nope, not dealing with you. We got this floating shit. I'm gonna make sure I'm far away from this biome too. Just in case the caterpillar spawns. Caterpillar has something interesting about it that I just figured out recently. And I'm not very happy with that thing. So here we go. It's time to fight the large worm. Ready, set, go! Oh! Oh! What the fuck hit me? You know how high up I was? Let's go! It's wreck time. Let's go! Oh! Got the wreck you, mate! Wreck, mate. Wreck. Alright, well, might as well go fucking full form if we're just rocking this anyways. I'm about to go in on these guys. Oh, look, they stole my fucking boots. I knew it. I knew it. Alright, so this boss is fairly plain and simple. Now I'm an ant. He just, they come up from the ground, it's like whack-a-mole. They steal your armor every now and then. It's very annoying. And the boss is pretty sort of, it's really simple. I'm an ant. It's a pretty simple boss. You gotta be on the floor most of the fight, though. I don't like. Come back up, motherfucker. I dare. I dare you. Ne necked. Necked. Get necked. Ah, fuck. I don't even see him half the time. They're still on the floor. Come on up. Come on up. I dare you. I bet you won't. I bet you won't. They're coming up real fast. Get off the- Did I not hit him? Come on, pal. Mm, mm, mm. You taking off my armor? You making me naked? You ass. You asshole. We can probably go straight for the large one, but I'm gonna fight this boss the correct way for once. Come on up. Right, there's one over here. You can like dig into the floor and kill the boss that way. Where's this one? Oh, there he is. Got him. You're next right here. You're next right- Oh. One right here. Got him. What about the one right here? I saw this one right here. Mm. 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 Triple kill! Quadra? Right here. Quadra. Qua fuck. Oh, right here. Right here. Right here. Got him. Oh, there's one more. Got him. Oh shit. Alright, next level. Next tier right here. We're going in. We're going in. I gotta sleep. Can I sleep real fast? You're not rest here no more. Alright. Well, while we wait for that, we'll try and wreck this guy. Try and wreck some of these larger worms. Medium-sized worms. Get wrecked. Holy shit, they're stealing my armor. They're actually doing some damage. Alright. See, these guys actually do a good amount of damage when they take your armor. Oh, motherfucker, stop taking my armor! Oh shit, there's a front. Get out the way, Cap. Can I sleep? Can I sleep, please? Please. Oh, there's monsters nearby. I can't sleep. I want, I want my armor back. I want my armor back. Can I please have it? Huh. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna move the bed a little bit. We're gonna move the bed over here. We're going to sleep. There's a frog over there. A little thank you, frog. Fuck off. Okay. We're just gonna keep that there, just in case I somehow die. Frog, this is not a safe area. Probably would have been good to get an iron golem here. Fuck off. Fuck off, frog. Get out the way, cow. Get out the way. He's getting serious. He's getting serious. I mean, this shit. Jeez, stop! There's a dog barking. Okay, let, oh, I meant to go full, whatever. So we're gonna finish off these guys here. We attempt to finish them off. I finished off a good bunch of them already. There's only a couple more flying around, flying around. A couple more alive here. Oh God, is this the last one? I think this is the last one. Okay, here goes. Let me, let me, let me just adjust the volume once. I hate this fucking boss so much. 
Well, I hate like the, the miniature phases that you have to go through first. They're freaking annoying. Like, oh my god, and now I'm getting lag? Like, this don't help. This don't help, please. Please, this is terrible. Please help me. Jeez Louise, man, what is this? So yeah, they kept on stealing my armor, and they like, sometimes they can hit you before they're even out of the floor. So I know what's going on here. I was flying above them, and I was getting hit like two feet above them, like this high. But uh, this is the last one here, and the large worm should appear. Come on, motherfucker. Come on out. There you are, there you are. Hmm? Hmm? Get wrecked. Oh shit, it's the large worm. It's the large worm, it's go time. It's go time. All this work just to get to you? Man, I'll get on the floor for you. You weak piece of shit. Mm. Oh, you took off my helmet, you motherfucker. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. The little guys, the fucking second phase was harder than this guy. Like, ten times harder. And we wrecked him. Wrecked him. <laughs> I might find another one of these guys just to farm some of this titanium and stuff we got from him. He dropped some dirt. Interestingly enough. But, uh... Yeah, that boss was annoying. I don't know why these were wrecked so much. I don't really understand. The rest was all good. Hallo hallelujah. Hall that's all I can say is hallelujah. We only got three of those? What the fuck? It looked like he dropped 50 of those. I almost got like confused with the go. Oh, here we go. So we got the worm tooth. This is definitely used to make the br 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 Bertha blade. And uh, as you see, we got a good long way to go. I'm going to be hanging up all the pieces uh, of the Bertha blade and stuff we have to make. Boom, use that big breath and big breath and return. Slice, slice is not using anything. So, I'll be hanging up everything for Big Bertha, that is, because Big Bertha is going to be a giant help when it comes to future bosses, some of the harder ones. And I believe I said this in the last episode that I am not updating the game any further. Check this out. Come here, frog. Look! It's a boyfriend! Yes! Are you mine? Are you, like, automatically mine? You're not automatically mine. What the hell? So I kissed the frog there. Aren't you supposed to turn into like a king? You like meat, right? You like leather. I know what you like. Rotten flesh. Now you're a piece of shit. Is it because I'm a guy? That's messed up. That's messed up right there. You can be my boy slave and not my boyfriend, dude. Have you ever thought about that? Like that works. That works. I think the caterpillar actually eats trees. Yeah, I think it's what happened there. So, I'm gonna end off this episode here. And, uh, we still got a long, 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 long journey ahead of us. And, uh, in the next episode, let me, let me go check off these things first, though. Let me just do this. Let me just put the armor on here. Pants, very interesting that the pants pretty much cover all of the armor. But, uh, why am I doing it like this? I could just, whatever. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> I believe I should make an amethyst set, though, because, well, I don't have a lot of amethyst. I didn't kill a boss that drops amethyst. But, uh, yeah, we're slowly working our way to Big Bertha. Interesting. But we will check off that, that, and making better weapons. Yes, I need to do that. Uh, let me just check out swords right now. Here are all the swords. Now, the one, the... What's the name of that sword that's in the puns mod? Something... Oh God, I don't remember its name. Uh, Avenger? No. Fucking dude from Marvel. He wears skull on his chest. Jeez Louise, man. I gotta look it up now. I gotta look at it. It's in my head. Right here. Boom. Avenge Punisher. There you go. So, what, what sword can we get our hands on right now? That's actually good. No, I didn't mean to click on that. What are we doing right now? We're doing like 10 damage, I believe. Let's check. 10, yes. So, we can get our hands on probably the Amethyst Sword. The Ruby, huh? The Ruby Sword. We don't have rubies. Alright, I'll see you guys next time where we will upgrade our weapons and possibly fight the Caterpillar. I'm gonna go figure out how to get rubies.